talk in English, but uh, my name is Jeff Silva, and I'm an American filmmaker, artist, teacher uh, from Boston, Massachusetts, uh, currently in France. Comment êtes-vous devenu réalisateur? Uh, that was uh, goes back to my days in high school when I was about 18 years old. And my concept of cinema was very limited back then. Uh, more action movies, Schwarzenegger, things like that. And, uh, and a professor showed Giga Vertov's Man with a Movie Camera uh, in class. And it kind of blew my mind of what cinema could, could be. And that opened up a whole new universe for me to consider uh, the possibility of the cinema as an artistic medium. And so I applied for film school and uh, got accepted somehow to a place called Ithaca College in upstate New York. And uh, that continued my, my uh, discovery little by little of what cinema could be, where I, I discovered uh, experimental film, fiction, European cinema, uh, and documentary film as well. I uh, later went to Los Angeles, worked in the industry for a little bit, came back to Boston and immersed myself uh, almost exclusively into documentary and experimental filmmaking and film programming. And so 20 plus years later, here I am. Pourquoi le doc? Documentary cinema, uh, I'm very uh, moved by documentary cinema and touched by it. My, in addition to my filmmaking uh, formation, uh, I also have a background in anthropology. So I'm very interested in culture, I'm very interested in society, the idea that um, we can connect with other people, we can communicate with other people, we can share that experience uh, with the spectator. For me, that's a moving thing. And so f documentary is rich and, and unexpected oftentimes and the serendipity of the the real is uh, is really important to me and something that i try to uh, explore and embrace and to share pitchez votre projet so my film is called the order of things and it's a film that follows the life of a 90 year old man named alexandro in a small town of Romania. And Alexandro is a watchmaker. He repairs watches in his small atelier. And uh, the film follows sort of his contemplative life and quotidian and his work in the atelier and his work in the garden. But it also explores his past. Uh, he uh, experienced um, imprisonment and forced labor camps during the dictatorship in communist Romania in the 1950s. And so the film weaves back and forth his uh, daily experiences with uh, his historical recollections of that time in prison and uh, in forced labor. Un coup de gueule, un coup de coeur. Un coup de coeur, c'est... For me, it's uh, the, th the team um, that I'm part of. I am really thankful to be working here at Lyon Capital TV with everybody here who has just been lovely and amazing. Also working with Cinefage and everyone uh, with the production in US Foggy Window Productions as well. Uh, it's amazing to be able to work with people who support this kind of cinema. It's a privilege to be able to make uh, documentary films and to be able to, to explore this kind of uh, artistic uh, uh, practice and to do it with uh, with financing, to do it with support, to do it with materials. It's not a simple thing and so for me I really appreciate that uh, great privilege.